let me give y'all a view of what I see when I walk out my front door in the mornings. The ducks are out there. They're playing and squawking. Of course, I opened the door, so they're not doing it right now. Forty yards away from my front door is the pond. I love this place. I've been getting a lot of requests for uh, some updates on the how the cabin's going, uh, the off-grid property. Um, as you can see right here, <clears throat> what I've decided to do on that entire wall, any of the wood trim work in the cabin, and the ceiling, I'll show you in a minute, I haven't put any up there yet. Uh, I'm going with the 6 inch planks, cedar planks. They may be 8 inch, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't have to tell you. Yeah, I was right. 6 inch planks. Um, <clears throat> the rest of it, I'm going to do this entire wall, both closets. You can see that's as far as I got right there at ends. I just got a couple of pieces to finish up that wall in the bedroom this closet, the closet I'm standing in, and that wall all the way to this corner will be the cedar planks. I'll pan up here. The curve on the roof will also be in cedar. Everything else will be drywall. Uh, otherwise it would, it, it would just get too dark in here. It'd be too dark. Uh, the cedar planks are a nice light color plus it smells awesome in here. But, my, sh my cabin's a disaster. Uh, as you can see, there's boxes and crap and the floor is filthy. So today, my goal is, well, there's going to be a big delay on one thing, but um, of course I want to finish up the bedroom wall there with the, with the cedar planks. Uh, I should have plenty of it right there. There's probably eight or ten more eight foot long pieces of it. Uh, but the back of this wall right here that you're looking at, that's going to have to come out now so I can go around the corner and, and do what I need to do. Uh, it has to come out now because I'm going to show you what's attached on the other side. Uh, if I put the planks up on this side, I won't be able to get that off. So what I have to do is try not to shake y'all around too much here. That is my kitchen, and let's see if I can get most of it in there. there. There's nothing fancy or special here. This is an old leaf out of a table, <coughs> out of our dining room table actually, that we, we haven't used in 20 years. It's been sitting in a closet, so when we came up here, I, I just brought it up here and been using it as a tabletop here. I got my utensils and a lighter, frying pan, pot, the lid port's up here, a pan to wash dishes in, a old old style Coleman stove uh, that uses the propane bottles. I got a lantern there. I don't like to use those lanterns. Yeah, it's coming in. I don't like to use those lanterns uh, just because they're so loud. If you're outdoors, they're, they're pretty cool and they put, out a, they put out good light. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just loud. In this cabin, oh my god, it sounds like a jet. Then I got fire starters, extra bullets, Dishwashing soap, uh, wicks for my the lantern that I do use, paper plates, bowls, and stuff like that. I switched from the paper plates. Um, I just didn't like filling up trash cans with them or burning them, so I went. I went and bought a. Yeah, I 
I went and bought a uh, plastic plate and bowl set from the Walmart down the road, and I brought in some extra silverware from the house from my old set. Uh, I'd rather just I'd rather just wash the dishes. I got plastic silverware and stuff up there too in case I get lazy. But anyway, I, I went on too long. I have to take all this apart and move it. To that wall right there. Uh, this is a four by eight sheet of plywood that's four foot to that inner edge right there. So I've got to move, disassemble all this, put it to the side, clean that crap out that's over there, which has been my junk pile where I keep scraps, and then move this over there. <clears throat> and then I can continue on down around the closet and continue on down this wall right here with the cedar planks. Now up in my daughter Claire's room, which y'all have all seen her on videos, that's her room up there. Uh, it's eight foot by eight foot. There'll be a bed over on this side right here that's built in. There'll be shelving and cubbies all on that wall. There'll be a rail going across the front with a ladder coming down at an angle. That's what that 4x4 four four is there for. It's going to be a, a post section. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, on her ceiling, that'll all be cedar too. That'll, that'll, that'll be cedar planks all up up here running lengthwise. Uh, and it, that way it just continue right into the cedar planking over the living room here. Uh, anyway, for those of you that wanted an update on what's going on, the, the answer is it's messy, it's in progress, and but progress is being made again now. Uh, daylight savings time kills me by the time I get out of work. Uh, it's, uh, it's already dark. And it's, it's, it's hard to work by lantern. As any of you know, there's no electrical power up here. So I have to work by lantern and it's hard to see tape measures and keep out of shadows. You put the lantern where you need it so you can see and then it's in your way when you're working. Uh, not complaining, it's just a fact of life. But for those of you who want an update, there it is. Thanks.